Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. Today we have round 7 of the Nations Cup and in interestingly enough we have tyre requirements of sports medium and straight away I'm starting to think to myself well there's going to be a lot of understeer and there's going to be a hell of a lot of oversteer but we do have the Red Bull X2014 junior car which has so much downforce it's ridiculous so maybe just maybe we won't die in this one. So let's get into qualifying in around Willow Springs. So if any of you are familiar with this racetrack, if you go wide or off into the dirt, you are essentially gone forever. You are sent to the Shadow Realm and you will never make a full recovery. So we've got to be extra careful then as we begin our qualifying lap. So turn one then as we go through Castrol Corner, just breaking after the shadow. You don't want to touch the inside of the curb, or well, you don't want to touch the gravel on the outside either, just like I have when well, I say gravel. Uh, it's sand, isn't it? But uh, yeah, going through this corner here, uh, I believe this is called Rabbit's Ear, very long right-hander. Even with just sport tyres on, the car has so much downforce that you can go through there like 120, 130 miles an hour, which is incredibly impressive when you think about how much downforce that really requires to go through there. I imagine the G-Force is quite something. Um, yeah, just absolutely mega okay going through here then um there's a little bit of a tactic to hit the uh, gravel beforehand but not quite like that not like the spaniards done there don't do that if you do that you're going to lose your qualifying time and that is what is going to happen to you so this this lap so far it's not been great i'll be honest it's not been fantastic you can see my relative in the bottom right hand corner the best times are 111 flat it's not great um i haven't done much practice i think i did like four or five laps and i was so cautious I'm doing it because I saw the tyres and I didn't really know how much you could push in this one. And looking back at this, I probably could have done a lot better. But we're going to cross the line. We do a 1 minute 12. Puts us pole temporarily, but not for very long. So I decided to go again. And unfortunately, uh, it wasn't a massive improvement, about a quarter of a second. And that was only really good enough to put us P10 at the time. But as the time started rolling in, I only actually qualified in P13. So lots of work to do in the race so in the race then we've got to use the medium tires you can use the softs which is what we're going to use actually and there's a lot of fuel in the car so you can literally just slam your foot on the accelerator on loud pedal before the race even begins which is exactly uh, what i'm doing but i've kind of bit cautious because i don't want to start because the false start so i'm frantically trying to bit my brake by sort of my traction control set to one we finally do that and then as soon as the red lights go out we're underway Start, I'd say I'd give that start maybe a 7 out of 10. Could have reacted a little bit quicker, but it's good enough not to get overtaken by anyone and importantly overtake the chap on the right hand side. So we're in P12 actually, we started. My bad, I said P13 earlier. So we get the first lap underway. Uh, the chap behind me went a little bit wide actually, so we've gained a bit of time. Now these two in front of me, you can see they're already fighting through this corner, so that's going to give me a a little bit of a chance to catch up with these guys here. Looks like someone went off up ahead as well. As they go off again, just touched the sand. So I've gained a little bit of time on them as well. Looks like they're going to go for a move up the inside of the Brit then. So that should put us up to P10. Uh, B-E-J-S underscore, underscore 62. So that's now put us into the top 10. So we're just a few corners into this race. And we have gained two positions. And we are in the top 10. Lovely stuff. Now, we're eyeing up Mr. Um, Mladen, I'm going to say here. I'm going to say that's the Austrian flag. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I know you will in the comments, but I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident, okay? Right, cool. So we've got the slipstream. We've got about 144 miles now. Now, uh, we've got enough speed, I think, to go side by side with him into this corner. Turn nine, absolutely deadly. And I actually think there was a bit of contact there because he's gone wide and he's gone into the pits. But we will look back at that. As you know, guys, in this, whenever we do a Nations Cup or manufacturer videos, we always look back at all the incidents at the end of the video. So make sure we stay tuned for that. Um, P8 then, uh, Neko there, the Croatian. Uh, he's on the gravel, on the sand. I keep getting those mixed up. And amazingly, we're going to go for a move around the outside because of his dirty tyres. We're actually going to get a move done. So through turn two, we've amazingly managed to get past someone around the outside which is probably one of my favourite overtakes. I know he had dirty tyres, but you've got to have some plums to go around the outside of that corner and overtake someone, so fantastic stuff. I imagine he's also on the mediums as well, to be fair. He could be on the mediums. We are on the softs. Now, I'll hold my hands up. I did forget to change the tyres, all right? 
I did forget to change the tyres to mediums. We've qualified mid-pack, so I really should be starting on the mediums and then going on the softs about halfway through the race. But uh, I kind of forgot, so we're just cracking on with what we've got. So soft tyres, they're working very, very well, I have to say. Um, I really was worried about the car, just wanted to kill us. But thankfully, with this combo of uh, this track and just how much downforce this car has, it's not too bad. Uh, the high speed corners are kind of saving it a little bit. We've got an absolutely awesome launch out of that last corner. And we've got such a good run onto Fento 107 here. You can see the chaps up ahead are fighting. So it looks like it's 3 4 wide already going into turn one. Then you've got two side by side going to that corner there. Uh, the rabbit's ear keep needing to remember what this corner is called. Now the Brit just touches the sand there. And it does cause him to go a little bit wide. We're going to go side by side into this corner here. So turn three. I try to outbreak him, and I do, but I just do not have the traction or the grip to make the move stick. And he manages to defend P7. Overall, though, we're up to P8 and four positions in, what, two, three laps. Pretty tasty. Once again, though, Fento has touched the sand. I've done my absolute best not to touch the sand there. I know sometimes it can be quicker if you take the inside of the kerb going into that corner, but I just didn't want to risk it with these tyres being sports tyres, not racing ones. All right, so that's why I've been doing it essentially. Um, nice little slip on the back of Fento here, going through turn nine. It's literally called turn nine. There is no real name for it, and I was trying to look for a move, but there really wasn't one there. I was also conscious of uh, Sim behind us in P9. Uh, you can see the Frenchman here. He had a very, very bad run. I wasn't quite sure what happened here. You can see there's four people on the radar now. And when we go through the turn one, I'm doing my absolute best not to yeet someone into the sand. You can see there's actually two people in the sand up ahead. This guy's going to go in the sand as well. So we're going to get two for the price of one. Just a gift, really. They both touch the sand, and I've managed to capitalize on that. And now I'm up to P5. So we've done four laps here, and we're up to P5. A little bit of a, a miniature yeet shall we say, a baby yeet into TX3 Talk, the South African there. Um, they're always uh, running that livery, aren't they, I have to say, the TX3 drivers. They love that kind of green and black livery. I, I assume they're pretty much everywhere if you want to have them yourself. I, I would assume. No, I just see those guys running it all the time. Anyways, I'm waffling on a little bit, but we're going to go side by side with TX3 uh, Talk now. So our pace here is very good. Um, but we can't forget that we are on the soft tyres, whilst the majority of people around us will more than likely be on the medium. So we go through turn nine then, just looking for a nice exit, not to scrub off too much speed. Um, and we are up to P4, but you can see the Italian, uh, Vinaga, up ahead. He has also gone off into the sand. So trust me, there's going to be so much to look at after this race. When we look at the highlights, a lot of people ended up dead. A lot. Uh, uh, in, in fact, there's one incident... Well, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait until you see it, but it's pretty bad. It, it's pretty bad. It would have caused a lot of harm in real life. Let's just let's just say that. Anyways, going through rabbits here once more. You can see we're closing in on this guy rapidly. Absolutely rapidly. First sector, three temps up. We're looking good. We're looking like we mean business in this one. And we're going to try and get that podium position secured as quickly as we can. So here we go. And I think this is like turn... This will be turn six or seven, I believe. This might be turn seven, and then this might be turn eight. So we're going to go for the old switcheroo. So he's going to go to the left, and I'm going to go to the right. I did get a better exit, so we got all the slip we could. Uh, not much you can get, really, at that point. Nine temps up then, so again, we are looking tasty. Uh, we could be in the one minute twelve straight away. Um, just sticking to the inside of the corner as much as I can, making him go outside, you know, trying to just kind of force the move on him so he doesn't think that I can, you know, just not push him out, but, you know make it clear that I want that move and I'm going to stick to the inside line. And that's exactly what we did. And yeah, it was brilliant. We got up to P3. However, lap seven comes and I just take my eyes off off the racetrack. I, I'll be honest with you. I was too busy looking at the relative to see what was going on. And I just completely and utterly took my eyes off the racetrack. And I can't remember the last time I've done that. I just lost concentration uh, through rabbits here. And it lost me a position. Simple as that. Uh, and Sim behind us there has now gone up into P3. So that was a big F from my point of view. But we go to lap 11 now and it's time to go into the pits. The soft tyres are pretty much dead. It will be pointless running them any longer. We might as well go on to the medium tyres and try and get some pace back. Because we watch the pit crew magically 
get those tyres off even though there's some sort of cover on them already so fantastic job there chaps I will say that has to be is that the shortest pit stop now in this game do you reckon because that was very short wasn't it that's very very short that pit stop so I do wonder I do wonder if you could have done a two stop here I do wonder that um, maybe not in the higher splits but maybe in the slightly lower splits I do wonder if a two stop might have been beneficial um, you could have get away out of the way of all the dirty air and just set your times um, and you could you could make it work but you'd have to be ruddy quick I reckon ruddy quick indeed so sim has actually managed to get p2 now and it's the greek we're going to be trying chasing down now uh grigo underscore dm so we're in the slip now we're in the suck however the dirty air is quite contagious and it's very very bad around here so if you have got it you've got to be careful going through the corners especially this corner here where many lives have been claimed so let's just make sure we don't go too wide here, trying to clip the inside of the apex, go wide, and it also touched the sand as well, so that could have been deadly. That was a little bit of a warning for me, to be honest, as if, say, you're not on soft tyres soft anymore, mate. You need to be careful, so that's exactly what I am going to do. So he gets a run on the inside, clips the apex way too much, and the kerb, and the sand, and it causes him to have dirty tyres, and he just does not have the grip to go around that corner as tight as I can. And I get another move done, and we're up to P3. Huzzah! We're back in the podium position. Fantastic. Let's see, then, if we can taste down. <laughs> Let's see if we can chase down Sim in front of us. Let's see if we can get a P2, because P1 has absolutely gone off into the sunset. He's in a league of his own. So lap 15, then, with very similar pace, me and this chap up ahead, uh, Sim. But I do lose the rear ever so slightly there, and Torque has actually gone past me now he did take him earlier on obviously let him go past there no point fighting because I, I immediately realized he's come from somewhere he must have those soft tires on he must have started the mediums and now he's on soft tires so it's as simple as that so he is uh, yeah he's in that position now and uh, I just yeah just a massive fail from me here just absolutely yeeted myself and just watch this so I had a brain fart I tried to reverse into the pits because I thought why not? Let's just try and get some tyres on and change it. But no, the game reset me. I, and I, I honestly, like, what an absolute F on it. Just, I just, oh, just couldn't believe it. And this guy from Portugal here, actually, <laughs> as we go into pits on that 13, or 18, I should say, because I just thought, ah, sod it, we've lost this now. We've, we've been this chance, boys and girls. Let's just go on the softs and try and set the fastest lap. He, uh, <laughs> he went very wide and he tapped me and I did think to myself, oh, no. Here comes the penalty. Here comes the penalty. But thankfully, we did not get one. Uh, if anything, I actually think he did. He did in the end, yes. So we're going to go past P12 now because we've got these soft tyres on and we're absolutely fine. You can see we've set the fastest lap of the race. Uh, and yeah, that's going to get us past P12. I think someone else used it as well. So we managed to get P11 in the end. But uh, I just threw it away. I just absolutely threw this one away, unfortunately, boys and girls. And I... I do apologise, but uh, I just wasn't on top form in this one, I don't think. I uh, Too many mistakes. Too many mistakes. So uh, let's go for the race highlights then. So this is the incident that I had with this chap here. Now, I don't know if this was my fault or not. I'm on... We're kind of both fighting for this corner. My nose is in there. We're side by side here. I'm on the racing line. There's a bit of a tap there. Make that... You know, make of that what you will. I, it wasn't intentional. Um, I, I do apologise, but... Uh, it's, it's not malicious at all. I didn't mean to cause him any harm. and I do apologise for that, but uh, yeah. Anyways, P19 nearly did exactly what we did, but thankfully he managed to do a lovely little 360 no-scope and managed to survive that. This chap here then, he just runs wide, goes on to the dirt, and that causes him uh, to drop back a little bit further. This is the move we did around P8 then, as he... Uh, yeah, he went wide and we managed to go around the outside. So probably one of my favourite ones, that one, that was... Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, and then the Brit comes together with uh, Neko there. And then he comes back on the track. And it's just a bit sloppy, I think. Um, I, don't think I don't think this is intentional at all. You can see uh, just on the racing line, just coming together. And then this chap's just come back on. There's no way he can control that. It's, um, it's just a racing incident. Those guys have just come together. But unfortunately for the Brit here, uh, he does a full 360 no-scope as well. And drops himself 
down to P17. So this was the fight then for P6, with the four of us there going into turn one. Bit of contact uh, with myself and Sim there. He puts his indicator on to the right. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe to indicate these boys have gone wide. So I'm going to quickly jump on board with Primer Phoenix because he is the chap that did go wide. So let's have a look here. Let's see what happens. So both go through turn one. Oh my! And it looks like they both went off. So it was a battle of who's the fastest rally driver, really, in an X-Ball Junior. And unfortunately um, for Primer Phoenix, Torque won that one and he has just lost... So many positions there. That is, um, that's unfortunate. Okay, lap four then. This is where the Italian, again, he's just touched the sand. And it's just absolutely cost him so much time. It's such a killer here. It really, really is horrendous. And then this happens here as well. Uh, he's just having a nightmare. And oh. as far as I'm concerned, this Italian, he's just, oh, the, the last couple of laps for him have been terrible. And then this happened to him as well touched the sand and basically would have well I think many a heads would have rolled literally if that barrier was not there and he rage quits and I kind of don't blame him because he's had an absolute howler a stinker from P3 to nearly murdering a few people in the crowd it's not gone well for him to say the least now this is me just clipping uh, the exit of turn 9 and just going into the air smashing the barrier again in real life <laughs> <laughs> you would have been out of it. There's no way. But uh, thankfully, no real damage uh, uh, in this game, really. I mean, it does get repaired, kind of, as you drive along. But, uh, yeah. And then it reset me, which is, um, yeah, that was cool. Uh, <laughs> and then this chap here, the guy from Portugal, yeah, he goes very wide. He goes flying into pits, touches me, but he actually gets reset. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And he actually goes, <laughs> he actually had it in reverse gear as well. Um, and he gets a one-second penalty for his woes as well. Talk about bad luck, honestly. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. But that was that race, um, full of highlights, full of just me plebbing it multiple times, along with other people around me. So easily could have got like a P2 or P3 there, but uh, I am a massive pleb. And that is what you need to take from this video, boys and girls, that I am a massive pleb. But if there's anything else... Um, that you want to take from this is it's a like and maybe subscribe. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> I'll leave it till the next one. Take care. Ta-da.